everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Marcy thank you for clicking on that thumbnail always showing your girl some love yes I am a bit casual today actually y'all today I am filming this video before I go have my laser eye surgery so um, all shall go well okay um, anyway I just wanted to put something out there because I did a reel over on Instagram and I've been wearing a lot of my favorite fragrances lately a lot of my top 20 for life because I will never give you a top 10. I think I tried to give you a top 10 once and literally it wrecked my brain. So y'all, I'm not doing that again, okay? Um, I may give you a top 10 per season, but as far as my lifers, it is too many that I absolutely love to give you a top 10. And I'm not gonna put that much stress on myself because I go through enough stress when I'm at work. So y'all, fragrances, the love for perfumery, you know, my love for these things should be easy, okay? Don't stress me out all right anyway please like comment subscribe turn on those notification bells and uh, I wanted to do a top 30 but I'm just gonna give y'all a top 20 for life and my most addicting I mean my top 20 fragrances are addicting intoxicating alluring almost all of these are sexy they have some type of juicy quality or you know sensual quality about them and I absolutely love them so anyway you all um, let's get into it and I'm gonna go in order. Now, all, some of you have seen these before. Some of these are new to my collection. And uh, let's just have some fun and enjoy it. And uh, to those that have, have seen some of these before in a top 10 or a top 10 summer or a top 10 gourmand, yeah, just watch it again, okay? All right, the very first one we're gonna talk about um, is one that I wore the other night to a party. And when I tell you, people kept coming up to me saying, whatever you are wearing, you smell absolutely amazing and I need the name. Three people said that to me. One guy was like, uh, if I didn't have a woman, I would take you home just based on your smell. I was like, boy, get out of here. Um, but the question is, would I go home with you? No, okay? So um, <laughs> anyway, uh, it was warm, it was spicy, it was alluring. And I knew that I would be in a party, so I knew I needed something that was a little more projecting and just very fresh and bright and vibrant, and that was La Perla Possibilities, y'all. This is a beautiful rose, orange blossom, black currant, um, pink pepper fragrance. Any fragrance that, ha that has the note of pink pepper in it actually brightens it up. It makes it super fresh, uh, makes it very vibrant. Um, but get your nose. This is very feminine. Uh, the performance on this fragrance is a beast y'all literally I was smelling the entire place up where I was um, I sprayed it about I think 10 times you don't need to spray La Perla that much maybe five times in a normal setting but if you're going somewhere you're out spray it 10 times I think I left the scent trail and the scent on others clothing as I gave them all the hugs y'all anyway La Perla possibilities get your nose on it oh y'all and this sun is like I think I might have to scoot up a little bit um, or maybe scoot back you know I'm a little bright it might aggravate your senses but I'll anyway I'll stay like this for now um, so the next one we're gonna talk about is baby cat everyone knows and loves baby cat it's a beautiful warm spicy and scentsy vanilla Oh, with that leather or suede inside. Um, yeah, people say it reminds you of Risen Domato. I think it does slightly in a way because it's ambery, it's suede you know, that vanilla. So it definitely gives you those vibes, you know. Initially it didn't, but the more and more I wear this, you know, the more I get those vibes, a little bit from Rosendo Mateau, the background of it with that warm, spicy cinnamon. Uh, but this is a little heavier on the leather scent or the suede scent and the vanilla as well, you all. Uh, but I love it. This is a lifer. Baby cat, get your nose on it. Dapper has a dupe until you can get your hands on this fragrance. It's absolutely stunning, you guys. The next one is by the House of Zerzhov, and this is Overture. This is a warm, spicy, um, almost gives you tropical vibes, but you can wear this 365 days a year, all year long. It gives me a little bit of a creamy coconut, um, warm, spicy cinnamon, but you gotta love the note of cinnamon to love this fragrance. Uh, cinnamon, mandarin, I think there is cardamom in here, but anyway, it's warm, spicy, it's coconutty, it's creamy, it's mandarin, um, it's an absolutely beautiful fragrance get your nose on it but you definitely get that clementine or orange the creaminess 
you know, but it's very tropical and beautiful. Like I said, summer or 365, it's gorgeous. It's a lifer. Um, the next one, I couldn't decide between the OG and this one, but I'm taking them both uh, because they both smell the same. This one's just a little heavier, a little more dense, and this is Flor Narcotique, and this is by Ex Nihilo. Um, it's just a beautiful orange blossom peony peach. You know, this one's just a little more slightly powdery, creamy, dense, rich, thick, but definitely gives you that same DNA. It's beautiful, intoxicating. Um, it doesn't have the freshness of the original Flor Narcotique, uh, but it definitely gives you that same DNA. So if you want something for the fall and the winter, wear this and then, or you can wear the original Flor Narcotique also, because that one will hold up also in the fall and the winter as well. But this one, I find it absolutely amazing all year long, but definitely be wearing these. And um, I wear these at night uh, in the summertime, but this is beautiful, like I said. Uh, and this is the extra, you guys. The next one is one of my favorite cardamom scents. I'm actually gonna be doing a review on this fragrance, um, comparing this one and the x -trait. And then, um, what is it, uh, another one. There are two from the house that I have x -traits, and I'm gonna do a comparison and a review. So this one's Loon Feline. It's a, oh, look at it in the sun, y'all. It's a beautiful cardamom, vanillic cardamom, warm, spicy, a little abrasive in the opening. But give it about a good, you know, it's that dry cardamom, y'all. Um, give it about a good, like, five minutes. Ooh, and the sillage is amazing. And on the extra, it's even more beautiful and rich and dense, you all. Um, get your nose on this. This is Loon Feline, a lifer, intoxicating, rich. But you gotta love the note of cardamom. A dry, spicy, warm cardamom to love this fragrance, y'all. And the bottles are stunning. The next one is by The House, and I haven't been talking about these in a while, and actually I haven't worn them in a while. Um, this one is actually Arden. It's one of my favorite, probably my top three rose fragrances. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. Arden is a rose oud. Um, I think there's some tobacco in here. There's some saffron in here, but a beautiful, sensual, vanillic rose oud fragrance that's absolutely stunning, and this is ardent. Um, I don't even know if they even sell these in America anymore. Actually, they do sell them at Saks or Neiman's, uh, but ardent, get your nose on it. If you love a good Middle Eastern, a Western Middle Eastern scent of rose and oud uh, with a little bit of vanilla inside, it's beautiful. Ardent by the House of Bodicea the Victorious, and the bottles are gorgeous the next one we have is guidance okay guidance y'all beautiful I get a lot of that pear that hazelnut that frankincense you know it's spicy that rose a little powdery creamy oh this is such a compliment getter the bottle is gorgeous the juice inside is gorgeous I get tons of compliments it wafts in the air like crazy the sillage is a beast you guys get your nose on this feminine um, to me this is like an ultra feminine ultra sexy femme fatale fragrance and I absolutely love it this is guidance by the house of Amouage the next one we have also is by the House of Bodicea the Victorious, and this is Bodacious. This is a beautiful, I was looking for a cherry, almondy cherry scent with a little bit of added tobacco uh, because I do like Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, but also I have Kiali's fragrance. I have so many renditions or versions of that scent, not dupes because there are other, you know, they're different brands, you know. I have a dupe for it as well. But this one, y'all, ooh. I like this better than Greedy, okay? Greedy has a lot of that saffron in it. And for me, it's more of a saffron fragrance than a cherry fragrance, but I do get a cherry nuance, but I get the warm spiciness of that saffron. This one, y'all, you get the cherry, you get some anise in here, um, you get some spices in here. There's some, it almost smells a little nutty as well. There's some almond tobacco in this fragrance, but you definitely get a really good almondy, cherry, tobacco, warm, spicy fragrance. It's creamy, it's gorgeous, but that cherry in here completely stands out. This is Bodacious. This is an exclusive to Selfridges. Selfridges. I'm not sure if they still have it, but I would buy this over again, you know, if I had the chance to or if I ran out of this bottle. And this is Bodacious by Bodicea the Victorious. 
The next one is a beautiful yellow floral, yellow and fl white floral, tiari flower, ilong ilong, ooh, juan intense. Ooh, y'all, my juice. I love this for the summer. It is good. It is vanillic. This almost reminds me of my Ilang Ilang Nosy Bee, but this has a, a pineapple inside and it's absolutely amazing. You get the pineapple, you get the vanilla, you get the TR, the Ilang Ilang. It's very tropical. It's rich. It's dense. The sillage on this is beautiful. It's intoxicating. Get your nose on this. Ujuan Intense. This is like my favorite yellow floral fragrance, yellow and white floral fragrance. It is absolutely stunning. Aside from um, Amouage Honor Woman, which is gorgeous as well. The next one is by the House of Penhaligans, y'all. I ordered something and I can't wait to get it. Um, and I'm gonna do a haul because I have a couple of fragrances that I need to include. But I'm excited because it's by this house and it's my favorite animal. Um, uh, Penhaligans, this is Cairo. I love Cairo. Cairo is a beautiful rose oud cyprio oil, saffron, y'all gorgeous luxurious it's elegant you know this is not something that you wear on a daily basis i've worn this maybe a, maybe three or four times and i do have a little bit of a dent in it but i love cairo if i ran out of cairo i would definitely buy it again but you only need a minimal amount of sprays so i'm assuming that this will last me like my entire lifetime you guys so so i better store it right right properly right um, anyway Cairo by Penhaligans like I said if you like a Middle Eastern slash Western rose oud scent with a little bit of Cypria oil ugh, intoxicating then you're gonna love Cairo I love this stuff the next one we're gonna talk about them together um, is Gris Charnel y'all and Gris Charnel extra my favorite tea fragrance okay this is beautiful fig tea cardamom you know this one's a little fresh and airy. You get that vanilla, um, you get that vetiver, but a creamy, slightly sweetened fig cardamom vanillic scent. Intoxicating, delicious. This one gives you a little more sandalwood, vanilla, not as sweet, bright, and fresh uh, because this one doesn't have the note of vetiver in there, I don't think. Uh, but this one's a little more creamy, a little more vanillic in the dry down. This one's brighter, so I'll definitely, I've worn this twice this summer. Um, this one I am saving for the fall winter, but you can layer the two together and they'll be amazing. But y'all, if I had to choose, uh, because I love the brightness and the freshness, this is giving a little more tea um, than this one to me. This is even a little more sandalwood and vanilla, I would definitely go, if you were new to the Gris Charnel gang, I would definitely go with the EDP, you guys. If you already have the EDP, yes, get the x -ray. You're going to love them both. Next I have is one that's given alien vibes with a little bit of orange blossom, warm spiciness, vanilla, and this is Rouge Malachite, uh, y'all, a little dent, y'all, Rouge Malachite, okay, um, beautiful, this is my, whoop, y'all, you guys know there's always going to be something back here, so I might be fanning, this is a beautiful, my favorite, tuberose scent in my collection and I love it. You have tuberose in the opening and the heart and the top and the heart and in the base of the fragrance with a little bit of sweetness, vanilla, orange blossom, warm spiciness. It's absolutely stunning. I love it. Get your nose on this. Rouge Maliki. The next one is in my top three rose fragrances for life, y'all. And this is no other than Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. I've been raving about this since it came out. Ugh, I get so many compliments on this rose, oud, saffron, vanilla, Middle Eastern, creamy, sweet, um, feminine, all the good things, all the good parts of being just girly and just feminine, y'all. Um, I get so many compliments on this fragrance from men for the most part, but it's stunning. It's a lifer. This is actually my second bottle. I had another bottle and it was like, um, if you guys know, but if, you, if you're watching me, you know that I was almost finish i had like 25 percent left and i ended up giving it to my daughter uh, because i did order another bottle so this is a new bottle and i'm so happy to have it because i've used the other one literally so good i think this is probably my most worn fragrance in my entire collection you guys because i've never i've never ever finished a bottle of anything 
and I finished like 75% of this, you guys. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to. I'm always like, oh, I'm going to finish a bottle this year. But I never do because I'm always buying some. Um, another one that's in my top three, Atomic Rose. Yes, um, Delina is not here. I said, you know what, girl? You're going to either choose Delina or Atomic Rose. And yes, I'm choosing Atomic Rose. I love Delina. Uh, but Atomic Rose gives me that heat on, that warm spiciness. It gives, it's like everyone says you know delina's older sister delina's more her sexier sister you know it's addicting alluring compliment getting love it top 20 i'm taking it y'all it's a beautiful scent my favorite fragrance by the house of initio then i absolutely love side effect that's the next one um yeah all the other ones are beautiful as well and i have to do a review on it and did I get a new fragrance? No, I think the last one I got was Absolute Af Aphrodisiac. But I'm gonna layer Side Effect with Absolute Aphrodisiac a lot. And I last year I layered Side Effect with Angel Share, Intoxicating, Addicting, like all the words. Um, this year I'm gonna be layering Side Effect with Absolute Aphrodisiac, you guys. Get your nose on it. But Atomic Rose, ooh, every woman, if you love a rose fragrance, warm, spicy, sexy rose fragrance, then you need Atomic Rose in your collection, y'all. This is compliment getting. The next one needs no introduction to my channel. This is Unknown Pleasures by the House of Kerosene. My favorite gourmand fragrance in my entire collection. This is a true gourmand. So if you like lemon, if you like um, scents that smell like a literal, literal, literal warm pound cake with Earl Grey tea, maybe drizzled in honey and some lemon cream, ugh, intoxicating, addicting, um, literally smells like warm honey, um, warm pound cake drizzled in warm honey with a side of Earl Grey tea and some caramel. This is Unknown Pleasures. Get your nose on this fragrance, y'all. I'm surprised I don't have a backup bottle of this. Um, I think this is their number one seller, so I don't think they're ever, they'll ever go out of stock um, or they'll ever discontinue this fragrance, you guys. Get your, buy the house of kerosene, get your nose on it. And I like these bottles, you know, um, sweetly known is an absolute love as well followed with an ed i love follow i'm actually thinking about decluttering because it's such a heavy coffee fragrance and i never really wear it i do love smelling it but i don't wear it but i do love followed with the added extra added warm spices cacao and caramel and there that one's a little more wearable to me but follow ooh, it's a beast y'all and the juice is literally black okay um the next one we're going to talk about is swamalaki um this is a beautiful chest Chestnut black currant. It has a silk accord. There's some rose in here. It is absolutely stunning, uh, but you definitely get the chestnut, a light, airy, like watery rose in that black currant. It's beautiful. It's warm, silky. Get your nose on it. And this is Swamalaki. The next one we're gonna talk about is Roja Dove, and this is 51. I absolutely, this is my favorite from the Essence Essence Parfums line. Um, actually, I think this might be my favorite. I smell the, the Parfum, you know, but I like it, but it's just a little more dense and concentrated. I like the airiness of this, and this is giving me more raspberry for some reason. This literally smells like, like a bunch of florals, gardenia, tuberose, all those beautiful light airy florals, yellow florals as well in here. I think there's a long long in here. There's some orris in here to make it a little creamy and sweet, orris butter as well, orange blossom in here, plus some uh, beautiful fruity notes. There's some citruses, bergamot, raspberry, but I get a lot of raspberry in this fragrance. This is a lifer. This one's my favorite. Get your nose on this by the House of Rosia Dove, and this is 51. The next one is by the House of Byron. This is Mula Mula, y'all. Peaches, raspberry, caramel. It's warm. It's slightly gourmand leaning slightly woody i absolutely love it but if you love the note of peaches and raspberry um warm spicy cinnamon you guys you need to get your nose on this fragrance this is mula mula by the house of byron the bottle is stunning
I know everybody's been talking about, what is it? Um, I like Black Dragon uh, more than I like. Green Butterfly is really nice and it gives you that. I tested it uh, when it initially came out. I was contemplating getting it because of the bottle, but to me, I'm not a huge Iris C. Oris fan, but it, it's pretty. It did give me that, you know, if I found it on a good sale, I might get Green Butterfly, maybe, because I do love the bottles. Uh, when I wear it, I don't know, because um, I have the chronic rouge I have Mula Mula Rouge and uh, but I do love black dragon more because um, it has more of that warm creamy spicy tuberose green butterfly was giving me more of a irisy iris butter cacao uh, very airy light scent it is pretty so definitely not a safe line by so definitely try it uh, but it is a really pretty fragrance because I know that one's going around um, you know around YouTube and Instagram but um, it is a very pretty fragrance, you know, so I definitely recommend Green Butterfly, but test it first, y'all. Um, the next one is by the House of Mano Garakinis, and this is Immortel. Warm, spicy Immortel, brown sugar. It's milky, it's creamy. Oh, I was like, what is that? Um, as long as it wasn't a raccoon or a possum, it's a squirrel. <laughs> I would turn it around, but maybe it'll run across because I remember last summer there were squirrels running across on the grass. Um, it might run up the tree though. There's some huge palm trees back here, but y'all, this was tied almost with unknown pleasures, y'all, but I love the note of Immortel. Um, it is gorgeous, and that is why I think I wanted the Ganymede Extrait because of that Immortel scent inside. It is beautiful. This is by Mano Garakinis. Get your nose on Immortel if you like a warm, it almost smells like brown sugar graham cracker crust with Immortel inside. It's gorgeous. It's milky, lactonic definitely for the gourmand lover but that brown sugar in here and that immortel is everything um next we have ambrosia imperial y'all they need to keep they need to make sure they keep this fragrance this is a warm spicy uh brulee creme brulee uh bananas foster you know all the good parts and saffron y'all a little bit of divana i love it okay mm, it's a little green from the Divana, a little bit, but you get that saffron and a bananas foster, a little boozy, you know, not too boozy, but a little boozy, Ugh, intoxicating, um, Ambrosia Imperial, get your nose on it, and y'all, I'm glad, this, look at the dent, okay, look at the dent in this fragrance, you guys, granted, I did decant a 10 ml, okay, but I still put a big dent in this fragrance, and glad I have another bottle. The next one I'm going to talk about is a vanilla fragrance that I absolutely love. And if I ran out of this, I would buy another one. Um, I recently purchased um, Accident. Oh, oh, oh y'all, y'all. This smells like, oh, it smells like, what's that ice cream shop? It, it literally smells like graham cracker crust, vanillic drowned in, you know, vanilla syrup, graham cracker crust, and ice cream. Uh, this is like my one of my favorite vanillas of all times you guys um i just recently purchased another vanilla uh, what well, y'all where's my brain i can't even remember but i posted it on instagram and i'm gonna do another vanilla review but y'all this one this is still number one okay number one gourmand vanilla okay get your nose on it um i haven't if you guys are wondering i haven't purchased glamcation is coming up and it's in a couple weeks and i have not purchased the accident a la vanille creme de la berry because i want to purchase it and support my glamcation and i did sample it at lucky sin and i do want it but ooh, i've been trying not to purchase it at lucky sin because i want to support my boy who's representing the house of Juset, and i'm going to purchase it there from him so i'm going to do a collection review another overview because i do have a couple of more uh imperial harem that i want to share with you guys and a couple more from the house of Juset. I may do like a quick overview from the house because I have about 10 fragrances from the house of Juset, you guys. Um, and go watch my video until you get the updated review. But Madeleine de, Madeleine de Proust with the uh, peach and the apricot inside is amazing as well. But creme de la berry, yes, it smells like Jack said it. A bowl of, it's supposed to be like a cheesecake, a berry cheesecake. It's giving that as well, but it's giving the lactonicness. Um, if you ate Captain Crunch Berries with milk 
look inside, it is definitely giving you that. It's nostalgic. It's delicious. It's decadent, all of that. Uh, but y'all gonna have to wait on it because I got to support my boy, okay? Um, the next one we have is the Irreverence, y'all. I'm loving Irreverence. Warm, spicy, caramel, cinnamon. There's saffron in here. Ugh, it's gorgeous. Um, I will link my review down below. So I'm going to link the Giuseppe review down below. And then I'm going to link my Ex Nihilo review down below, you guys. But yes, top 20 for life. I'm taking Irreverence and I'm taking a Flor Narcotic Extract. Okay. Um, anyway, get your nose. Sample these, y'all. Get your nose. The Siage on this is a beast. It is definitely amazing all year long. But I would say uh, more for the fall um, or the winter or spring fall winter spring actually i wore this in the summer as well y'all it's beautiful the irreverence by ex nihilo get your nose on it um last but not least is two that i absolutely love because i do love traveling to london and this is actually um my favorite fragrance house my favorite uh london fragrance house is that how you say it um yeah my favorite london based fragrance house okay um boom <laughs> tales from zanzibar tales from zanzibar and trouble in paradise okay absolutely love this um uh, let's talk about this one first okay real quick y'all because y'all already know okay if you follow me um guava 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 uh, ambergris okay guava ambergris lime coconut all the good parts of a tropical drink with extra guava um it is juicy it's intoxicating it's sweet all of that but it's juicy gives you that almost smells like i always say it almost smells like there's a gin or a vodka inside like a white liquor inside on top of all the other goodness get your nose on it tell some zanzibar backup bottle worthy okay backup bottle worthy as well trouble in paradise this is leather and mango and caramel and ambroxan okay uh, intoxicating love it y'all it's boozy there's rum and cognac in this fragrance you guys um it has uh the maldives you know inspired by the maldives yeah there's trouble in the maldives and this one's inspired of course by zanzibar you guys get your nose on these two fragrances they are now selling this at lucky scent i just saw it a couple days ago um they're actually selling both at lucky scent and at um what's the other one not scent explore um, there's another one, but they're selling them at Lucky Scent, you guys. Um, Google them. Go check them out. Amazing x rays Beast performance. A lifers for me, you guys. Get your nose on those. Um, I think that is all, you guys. Go on to the world. Spread amazing CI. Yeah, yeah. I think that is all. I talked about everything. Go on to the world. Spread amazing CI. Do good, be good, all that. And I hope the light's not bothering you. Uh, but yes, um, let me know what is one or multiple of your top tens or lifer fragrances down in the comments y'all these are forever forever and every day okay um all right go on to the world for an amazing siage do good be good all of that and love you all bye bye and i will be seeing you soon with some brand new eyes okay bye bye